right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I am so happy to be here with you today. So we are on, let's see, day four of our five day chair yoga challenge. And today we're going to focus on balance and coordination, physical balance, as well as a little bit of brain balance. So, uh, let's just hop right to it, shall we? So go ahead and find your chair, get comfy. Sitting towards the front edge of your chair, soles of your feet onto the floor, sitting comfortably tall. And why don't we just begin with some nice, slow shoulder rolls. Saying a little good morning to your body today. Taking a few nice, easy breaths. <sighs> Shifting gears from perhaps any busyness of your morning or your day. This season for sure. I'll just take a few more circles. And just start to invite all of your thoughts, energy, and attention here, now, into this present moment. So as the shoulders relax, feel your hands resting comfortably onto your legs, feel your feet getting a little heavier onto the ground. So just taking a moment to land, another cleansing breath as you let all of your weight drain down from the top of your head, all the way down through your seat and your feet. <sighs> Welcome here now. All right. So we're going to begin our practice today with some rhythmic breathing. And we're just exploring an equal length inhalation and exhalation. You can use any counts that feel good to you. I'll be guiding us through four counts, but if three feels better, you go to three. If you'd like to try a little longer, try five. But please join me now as we just tune in with our breath. So let's take one more just easy breath to sort of clear the, the runway, if you will. And together, breathing in for one, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Again, nice and easy, breathing in, expanding to three, four, soften and relax as you exhale, two, three, four. Again, just counting for yourself, inhaling for four, And exhaling for four. One more time in. And out. And then the go of the counts. Just pause, relaxing back in your own natural breath for a moment. Hmm, maybe notice if you feel a little bit more grounded. I certainly do. All right, so let's start to add some movements with our breath. So bringing your arms down by your sides. Stretching the arms out wide and up overhead, choosing to keep your gaze forward or looking up towards the hands and then sweeping all the way back out and down, perhaps bringing your gaze towards your heart. So with your breath, inhaling up and exhaling down. All right, let's find those four counts again. So inhaling up, two, three, four, pause for just a heartbeat, and then exhale down, two, three, four, and again, pause for a heartbeat. Keep going, inhaling up, two, three, four, synchronizing your breath and movement, exhaling down, two, three, 
four. Let's do one more on your own, counting for yourself. Slowing down. And relaxing at the end of your breath, resting hands to your legs. Ah. Good. So I find that doing this type of breath work, as long as it does not create tension or anxiety for you, and then weaving the movements in with that rhythmic breath, are very grounding. So this can really bring you back home to present moment in an instant. So even just taking a few of those slow breaths or just doing maybe three or four of the arm sweeps with your breath can really bring you back home if you're having a stressful day. So put that one in your self-care toolbox. All right, so we're gonna move into our first balance flow that we'll do seated. So let's just find our movements. So again, the arms are down by our side. So there's a little bit of coordination involved with this one. So just maybe give a little love tap to your brain. Say, all right, wake up in there. We're coming for you. All right, so the arms are gonna sweep up overhead and then press the palms together down into the heart and then open the arms out to the sides and come back home to the heart. So that's what the arms are doing. So let's do that again with our breath. Inhale, sweep out and up. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, open. Exhale back to the heart. So we're dropping out our four counts at this point and we're just flowing with our breath and our movement. Okay, so we're gonna add the leg into it. Now, as always, you can just keep this low to the ground. So we'll be moving through the right side to start. So you can just pop that right heel up and then slide the leg out, pushing through the heel and then sliding it back in with that heel popped up and then place it down. Or you can take that into a bigger range of motion. All right, so here we go, upper and lower body together. Circle the arms out and up. Bring hands to heart, lift that right knee up. A little core work, remember that from yesterday? Push your leg forward, arms open out wide. Bring everything back home to center. Good, now we have just the arms. Inhale, just the arms up. I'm gonna go to the other side, exhale, left knee comes up. Inhale, expand out from your center. Exhale, return. Good, from side to side. Inhale, just the arms, circle up. Exhale, hands to heart, right knee lifts. Long breath in, we expand out. Take your time, exhale, back home to center. Let yourself land in center, just the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart, left knee up. Inhale, open out from center. Exhale, return. Okay, one more time, all the way through both sides. You do you, I'll do me, here we go. Moving at your own pace. Slow, mindful mo movement and moment. Last one. Relax back in center, bring your hands down, take a nice deep breath. And just pause for a moment, tuning in, noticing what you're aware of through this internal landscape, this inner world of feeling sensations. Hmm. Nice, good. Sliding your hands up towards your hips now. We're gonna take a few circles, just moseying down into the lower back, the hips, circling around the sitting bones. So this is a wonderful movement to do to help orient us to center, to orient the nervous system to center. So feel your weight shifting around the sitting bones. Okay, let's take a few circles the other direction. So when we know where center is not, it's not when we're leaning forward. It's not when we're off to one side. It's not when we're rounding back, but it is 
as you come all the way back to your center now, right there. So this is a beautiful proprioceptive exercise that really helps us ground and land more fully in a, in a state of balance. Okay, so let's come up to standing. If anybody is not comfortable standing, just know that you can do everything that we're going to be doing standing seated in your chair. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot my chair a little off to the side and turn sideways so you can better see me. But before we get into that, let's find a little mountain pose. We're gonna do a little bit more centering here. So looking down at your feet, your toes are pointing forward. Your feet are about hips width apart. We're gonna do that same little bit of a rock forward and a little bit of a rock back. So find where center is not. So our brain loves to learn through contrast. That's where change happens. Okay, it's not forward, it's not back. But then as you center your weight forward to back, ah, can you drop into that center point? And then shift a little side to side, feel your weight rolling across your feet from the inner edge to the outer edge. So we are gliding through the ankles. The ankles are another really important body part to find center, to find ground. It's where our proprioceptors live, it's in our joints. Okay, again, center your weight right to left. So equal weight onto both legs, both feet, front sides and back. Arms coming down. Let's just take a nice deep breath here and feel your weight draining down from the top of your head all the way down through your feet. Let your footprint spread wide into the earth, onto the earth. Feel your body landing on the ground. <sighs> Good, all right. Now turning to face your chair. And we're still in that mountain pose stance. Our weight is still centered. Our gaze is out onto the horizon. And we're just going to start to wake up the ankles a little bit more. So let's lift the heels up and down. Nice and slow. Up and down. And it might feel a little wobbly at first as we're warming things up. My ankles are usually a little sleepy in the morning. And they're like, oh, we're doing what? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that's... That's what we're doing. They'll come on board, I promise you. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take this into fancy prances. So we lift the heels and we press one heel down as the opposite knee bends and switch and keep going, switch and switch. So we're rolling through the feet. We're waking up the muscles in the fascia on the soles of the feet, hydrating any tight tissue. Just a couple more here warming up the ankles, warming up the legs, and getting ready for some of our bigger balances. Okay, let's lift both heels up, stay here. Gently gather your belly in, ah, soften your shoulders, find a soft focal point out in front of you, and you are welcome to stay right here. This is balance, you're doing beautiful, or perhaps we bring one arm up, so we've challenged that balance just a little bit more. Breathing, smiling sweetly to yourself and maybe, just maybe, the other arm comes up. Maybe the heels pop down and then you just come back up again. So know that you don't have to hold steady and still here. It can actually be more interesting when there are some wibbles and wobbles as we're figuring out how to balance and then come on down. Woo, bend your knees a little, keep your heels on the floor, just stretch out those calves and shake out your legs. Shake a leg, shake a leg. All right, come back into your mountain pose stance for a moment with your arms by your sides and maybe closing your eyes or just softening your gaze down. And again, feel your weight centered front, back, side, side. And just notice if you're starting to feel any different. For me, I'm definitely starting to feel more grounded and present. Okay, a little bit more awake. <laughs> All right, blinking your eyes open. Now make sure you've got a little bit of space between you and your chair. And we're coming into a standing cross crawl. So super 
good for the brain, for balancing out the right and left brain and getting everybody working, especially first thing in the morning here. So we're going to bring the hands up and we're tapping opposite hand to knee. Ooh, if you need to hold on to something, that's okay. Tap opposite hand to knee. So we're just going to tap, tap a little belly to back will help stabilize your balance. <clears throat> Maybe pick a little something out in front of you that's not moving. So don't look at me. <laughs> Maybe there's a tree out your window or something that you can focus on there. Good. Keep going. Cross crawl. Now you can, if you want, ooh, bring your arms up higher. Okay. So we're crossing over the midline, right? We cross over the midline. It starts to fire up the brain in all kinds of beautiful ways. So wherever you are, keep it little, keep it big Four, three more, two more, last one and relax back to center. Pause, breathe, notice what you notice. <sighs> Good. All right. I'm going to bring my right hand back to my chair. So as I was saying, you can do all of this seated in your chair. So you can do your cross crawl sitting in your chair. You could have done the heel lifts seated in your chair. You can do stork pose, which we're getting ready to do in your chair. So it's just lifting one knee up. Okay. So just know that if standing's not available, you can do all that right here. Okay. So I have equal weight onto both legs. Ah, I am landing on the ground. Yes. Shift your weight a little bit more now into that left leg. So that's your anchor. It's strong. And you're just going to start to lift that right knee. So that inside knee up. Okay. Coming to stork. Find your focal point, gather your belly and bring your left arm forward. Make sure that you're not leaning back. I just felt myself leaning back a little. So I'm going to kind of tuck those ribs in just a wee bit in the front and you can stay right here or maybe both arms reach forward. Again, if you fall out of it, that's okay. If you're a little wiggly this morning, that's okay. This is where the magic happens. In fact, we can intentionally take ourselves off balance because that's where everything's firing up to say, Oh, that's not center. Where is center? There it is. Lower down. Take a break and just shake out your legs. So the most important thing for me to impart to you as we switch sides here, I'm going to bring my chair to the other side is to have fun with this, to not take yourself too seriously to play. So mountain pose, center your weight, please find a focal point in front of you. Little belly to back, shift your weight onto your strong right leg, your wide footprint onto the ground, and then just float that left knee up. Take a second to steady yourself, feel yourself on your leg, right? On that right leg, like we would say in the dance world, ribs slide down, right arm comes forward. You get a lot of dance stuff from me because that's a big part of my life and I love being able to share it with everybody. Okay. Maybe both arms come forward. Maybe not. Maybe that foot taps down and up. Where are you right here, right now? Breathe, smile and release. Good. Shake it out. Right, we're in the home stretch here. So I want to step a little bit further away from my chair again. So we are hands free unless you need to hold on to something. Or again, you can come back to the seated version of this balance flow that we just did a moment ago. Okay. So seated or standing hands come to the heart from here. It's the same thing that we did on the chair. So just the arms circle up. This time we shift weight onto that left leg. Now, maybe you just pop that right heel up as the hands come to the heart and that's good enough. Maybe that knee comes back up to stork. Good arms open leg presses forward. Bring everything back in. 
landing on two feet, just the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart. We shift weight onto that right leg. Take your time. Steady yourself. So the left heel can pop up or that knee lifts. We open and we return. Good. Let's take it again, side to side, just the arms. Inhale. Exhale, right knee lifts. Gather into your center. Inhale, expand from your strong center. Exhale, return home to center. Inhale, just the arms. Left leg. Can we do one more each side? Good play, have fun. I can feel you guys moving with me. I love it. Last side. You're doing great. Shoulders soft. Make sure they're not holding on for dear life there. <laughs> Toes relaxed. Come back home to mountain pose. Close your eyes. Feel your body. Feel your breath. <sighs> Let your arms Rest by your sides, pause here for just a moment. Hmm. Beautiful practice today, my friends. So bringing both hands back to the heart, bowing in with that gesture of gratitude to yourself, a big smile into your sweet heart, thanking your body, mind, and breath. And I thank you for playing today.